All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a new year. Loads of new club reviews are coming out. I'm going to kick things off in 2020 with an old school review. Back here at the Golf Academy, just me, you, GC Quad, and a new driver to test. We've got loads lined up for this year. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any videos. I'm going to start things off with this. Honma XP1. Now, Honma, many of you know, kind of came really into everybody's mindset last year when Justin Rose got signed by them. And last year I was fairly disappointed with what they kind of did. It didn't really excite me that much. So this is the first driver that I thought, okay, let's give this a crack. Let's hit this on GC Quad with Pro V1s and see what the Honda XP1 can do. Now, heads up, this driver is not cheap. It's 559 pounds. Now, for Honda, that's fairly cheap because they bring out some gold drivers that are tens of thousands of pounds. So you think you're getting a steal for 559 pounds. Now, technology with this, Apparently, it's got a super light crown. It has an adjustability in the net where you can move it eight different settings. And the shaft doesn't change. So the grip is always the same for consistency. And also, it's got this big speed channel just behind the face to create more ball speed. It's only downside I'm seeing so far, and I'm not going to mark it down for this review with it, is it is a draw bias driver. So this weight is back and in the heel for a little bit more draw biased. Now, for £559... That's quite a good looking driver, but good looks isn't going to cut it for that price point. Um, I like how it's kind of finished. I like the chrome, the really dark kind of sparkly black head looks good. And it's ever so slightly triangular shape. But with that triangular shape and the really silver face, it has quite a nice contrast. Should we give it a hit? GC Quad Pro V1s, Quest Golf Academy. This is proper old school. All right, see what it does. I'm intrigued to see if the performance potentially matches up to the, uh, the promises of Honda. Let's give this a whack. All right, that seemed all right. Had a good sound to it and it's pretty much gone straight. The one thing, it's not gone very far just yet. The one thing I notice is how light that shaft is. That is super light. I'm not sure if it's actually got a no, it's not actually got a number on it for, or maybe 43, Vizard 43, potentially that's the gram, but that is super, super light. It's a stiff, but it felt soft. Um, right, let's hit a few more. Not spectacular numbers, only 100, 270 yards carry, but fairly straight to be fair. Had a good sound. I like the feel off the face. got time that shaft because it is a bit lighter that's another good golf shot i wouldn't complain with either of those two i'm just a little bit underwhelmed with the distance so far but i'm just getting warmed up all right that'll be an interesting test because i've hit that really low healy strike yeah i mean it's borderline finding fairway but it's uh it has lost tremendous distance. Apparently, this speed channel that goes from all the way from heel to toe is supposed to keep the club head speed or the ball speed fast across the face. Mm, I'm not that impressed with that one, if I'm honest. That came out super slow. I still managed to swing it 111 miles per hour, but the ball speed was way down off that off-centered hits. Not great if you spend a lot of money on this. One thing I'm not seeing, and I expected to see, a bit more draw bias. I fully expected this to be going way more to the left. Distance I'm not impressed with. For me, it's not giving me the punch that I want, if I'm honest. I'm really not hitting that. I mean, that's only carried 264. Mm. Let's try and hit a couple a little bit harder. I'm still a bit conscious about how light that shaft is. But let's hit it a bit harder and see what it can actually do. 
So just as a bit of a side note, if you're new around here, I normally carry my drivers when I test around 282 yards. So only to be carrying it around 260 odd at the moment is definitely shorter than normal, 20 yards shorter. Let's see if I can uh, ramp this up a little bit and get some speed. I'm just conscious about how light that shaft is, but let's see if I give it some, how far can it go? Oh, I just didn't quite hit it in the middle of the face. Yeah, slightly better at 270. Let's go one more. Okay, there we go. That's probably a, a true reflection. I'm not going to hit it much better than that. Closer to the numbers. I think the only thing that's letting it down from this test is that lightness of the shaft, but that is a characteristic of this driver. It's designed for light. Honma is massively popular in Asia and it's a big trend in light drivers, light headed, light shaft, light grip, and this is kind of no exception. For me though, I'd, I'd need something much stiffer. One thing I forgot to mention at the start, that adjustable nut in the hosel, I had a little play with that because a lot of driver manufacturers, as you know, have that adjustability. This is the most complicated adjustable driver I've ever tested in that, in that kind of neck area. I took it out and then trying to put it back in was an absolute nightmare. And in fact, it took me a long time to get it back in. That's a definite downside. Positives, it's a good looking driver. I think for the right golfer, it would perform well, i.e. golfers who struggle with swing speed or struggle with I don't know, feeling like they're holding something too heavy. This definitely does not have that. It's definitely a lot lighter. But for the price tag, and again, £559, this driver is brand new. It's a lot of money. That's £100 more expensive than, let's say, the new TaylorMade driver, etc. I think there is a market, but you've either got to have a lot of money or are desperate for more club head speed because your swing speed is too slow. Honma XP1. Not sure. I think they can do better than this. I'm excited to see what they do bring out in the future. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Make sure you subscribe. Welcome to the new year. Loads of new reviews coming your way very soon. So do not miss out. And we'll see you next time.